there are three fundamental problems which I see in today's education scenario. One is what I learned across school, domain, subjects, still relevant in today's world. Is, is a problem which you know is a complex problem solving skills which I use today is something which I have learnt in school. And third, have my education equipped me with the life skills which are important to survive in today's generation. As an educational organization, we have experienced that gap wherein there is permanent de-link between what they are studying in the classroom and taking it out in the actual life. The current scenario at schools at, across India has been that teaching has revolved around purely application skills based pedagogy and what this relates to is learning very specific applications and then being done with your computer science class. At that time we realized the need for designing a curriculum which was more than just about the skills to use a computer. So we realized that through the means of computers it's possible to, for us to teach the children about thinking skills and various life skills such as decision making, gathering of information and being able to coherently make a presentation. Now by life skill, what we essentially mean is that two important skills. One skill is how effectively can you communicate. That includes your comprehension or communication and critical thinking. And how effectively can you solve a complex problem through simple thinking. If I have to use two academic jargon, they would be 21st century skills and computational thinking. If a student or say an adult, if they know how to write a letter properly, he or she will also end up writing a better email. Similarly, we also believe that say, suppose if you are a journalist, right? And if you know how to write an article properly, you will also end up writing a better blog. Just knowing how to operate a blog will not help. Microsoft PowerPoint is not presentation and presentation is not Microsoft PowerPoint. It's the way you articulate your thoughts, it's the way you gather your information, it's the way you organize them. Similarly, programming is not syntax. It's the way you think algorithmically. So we believe that if a student can think algorithmically in a logical manner, is positioned much better to write an effective program. You know? As an organization, we have spent considerable amount of time developing this product. To give you a perspective, we started our research in 2005-2006 and we formally started implementing only in 2009. In 2007, we completed the definition of the curriculum and started writing textbooks based on this curriculum. These textbooks are called Computer Masti. Computer Masti, Masti in Hindi means fun. Now, we believe that fun or playfulness is an, as an explicit basis for development of mind. It's one of the most critical elements one should have. You know, fun is, is important for one's education, one's learning. And that is how we have shaped our Computer Masti. We'll be seeing what is the relation between the Japanese art of making origami and writing of computer programs. Okay, to see that, first let us make some origami or paper caps which will also be a fun thing for us to do right we spend a lot of time on this first most crucial step of planning each student is involved in putting down their thoughts brainstorming huddling up together in groups creating mind maps to represent their thoughts following that you do execute and impress that's the computer masti way of using the spiral curriculum integrating thinking skills in whatever you do the idea is that the computer also can only follow very detailed stepwise instructions. Just like we followed stepwise instructions to make the cap, the computer is also able to follow the steps that you ask it to follow. Uh, when a school decides to partner with us in order to implement Computer Masti at their um, campuses, uh, what we do is we step in to provide support as well as resources. Um, and this takes the form of visits, whether it be um, in-person visits directly at their campus or in a remote session where we might connect with them over the internet. What it means is that the students are focusing on computer fluency and not on computer literacy. 
As for my experience, the children are not only uh, using this thinking skills for their projects, uh, but slowly and gradually they are making a habit of it and the results can be seen into their uh, other subjects also. After Computer Masi came in, they are able to use the same applications with more clarity on them with, and with a sense of purpose on why they are using that particular application. And when we enter schools, we realize that, you know, they enjoy it. My experience as a teacher has taught me that students learn the best when the lesson is joyful and fun. And Computer Masti is one such program which actually exposed my children uh, to computers in a very joyful way. Looking at them smile and interact with the computer program using Computer Masti. And also when they were browsing the textbooks of Computer Masti, I could see that they were actually enjoying what they were learning. And I think that's a very important part of the learning process because happiness is the foundation of a successful classroom. Initially, schools were a little reluctant in adopting commercial curriculum. Slowly, gradually, after seeing the change and uh, the practical implementation of it in other schools, I'm very happy to tell you that now schools are coming to us and asking us to deploy it in their schools. Starting with one language five years ago, we have been able to establish Computer Masti across 13 different languages spread across different geographies. The impact has been phenomenal across uh, different stratas of the school, be it a high-end school or a rural school or an urban slum school. In 2009, we had like eight school, 2,000 students. Currently, we are doing more than 300 schools and we are doing more than half a million students. We have empowered more than 4,000 teachers in the last five years. I am happy to share that we are actually teaching computer science to students in Silicon Valley. We now have presence in Japan, in Middle East and Silicon Valley. Reputed organizations like MIT Media Lab have, to the extent said, this is one of the best ways to teach and learn computer science. Once there was an article that said, in open is imparting life skills through computer science education. We have been able to reach all over the world and have received approximately 400 coverages all over India, including international coverages in Japan and Silicon Valley. As a team, we are happy and proud to be a part of this phenomenal organization that's bringing about incredible changes and waves in the way computer science is being taught in the country and across the world. The enthusiasm of the students, the overwhelming response of the teachers, the feedback from the parents, their involvement in computer university and the principal and the management of the school has been phenomenal as an organization that motivates us to reach to more and more uh, students across India and the world. Because of computer university, students have uh, experienced an overall growth not only in academic sphere but in other spheres of life as well. We've been pretty successful at breaking down the myth that computer science is a skill-driven subject. Through computer musti itself, we've been able to show the world around us that concepts are the beauty of computer science. And through computer musti, once again, we've been successful in imparting life skills through computer science education. Somebody sitting in a village in India or somebody sitting in Manhattan should understand computer science in the way which we have envisioned. And as an organization, as InOpen, our vision is we want to simplify and strengthen knowledge.